thanks for sticking with us here on the center of it all. If you love food, I know that you love kitchen encounters with Mel. Mayor, what is your favorite meal or dirt appetizer to have for a holiday party? Ooh. Cheese, cheese, anything with cheese in it or on it. Cheese, anything <laughs> in it or on it. Well, I'm a huge fan of Mel's bacon wrapped shrimp. She made it a few Ooh. years ago. Yeah, oh, Ooh, so good. Fabulous. You have to check it out on kitchenencounters.tightpad.com. Oh. Mel's not making that for us this year. It's a surprise, oh. so let's go inside Mel's kitchen. You know what season it is. And if you're looking for an elegant, exquisite, absolutely easy recipe, I've got a ho, ho, ho of an appetizer for you today. Shrimp de Jong, invented by Belgian-born Henri de Jong, who opened a cafe for the World's Fair Colombian Exposition in 1893. Imagine jumbo, sherry-soaked shrimp, bathed in garlicky herb butter, coated in French breadcrumbs, tray magnifique. Let's get started. I've melted a stick of salted butter in a nice little saucepan, and I'm going to add some Hungarian paprika, cayenne pepper, and nutmeg to the mix. A quarter cup of dried parsley flakes, three, four, five, six pressed garlic cloves, as garlicky as you want it to be and about six tablespoons of minced shallot. And if you don't have a shallot, a sweet cooking onion will be just fine. I'm just gonna stir this around and bring it up to a simmer and let it simmer for just about 30 to 60 seconds. Just long enough to soften the garlic and the onions. You don't wanna brown anything. So let's get her up to a simmer and let that work its magic. This has been on here for about a minute, and it is really, really fragrant. The only thing I'm going to do is turn off the heat, put that to the back of the stove, and we're going to cook our shrimp. Always buy the highest quality shrimp available to you, and the experts agree that wild shrimp are firmer textured and sweeter tasting than farm-raised shrimp. And unless you live next door to a shrimp boat, Captain, buy your shrimp frozen. Shrimp are frozen on the boat to seal in their freshness. And as they defrost, they lose their quality by the hour. Buy your shrimp frozen, defrost it yourself, and cook them the same day. I brought one quart of water to a boil in a nice wide bottom stock pot. And I'm adding two cups of white wine, that's Chardonnay. I'm going to half squeeze, if this is, hopefully this makes sense. I'm not gonna squeeze all of the juice out of these lemons. Just half of the juice out of the lemons. And I'm gonna add the lemons themselves to the water. And four bay leaves. And when this comes to a boil, we'll cook the shrimp. I've got two pounds of 16, 20 count shrimp. And what 16, 20 count means is there are 16 to 20 shrimp in each pound, which means I've got about 40 really, really nice big shrimp. And I'm gonna add them to my boiling water. I'm not gonna dump them in, I'm just gonna put them in. Oh, and the tails are left on these because this is an appetizer and a tail is that convenient little handle that people can use to pick them up to eat. And when this water returns to a boil, we are only going to cook these for one minute, which is really sounds like a very short amount of time, but we're only par cooking the shrimp because they're gonna get cooked again when they go back in the oven. My shrimp are cooked and I'm gonna take these right over to the sink and I'm going to quickly drain these into a colander. And I'm going to start rinsing them with cold water but just for a minute or two. I do not want these shrimp to cool to anything other than a warm, I want them warm in the center and handleable on the outsides. I've transferred all my shrimp to a nice big bowl, and the first thing I'm going to do is remember those lemons I told you to keep? I'm going to put all of that 
whiny lemon juice into my shrimp, which is gonna infuse some really beautiful flavor to them. And I'm going to add about two tablespoons of dry sherry. It's a pretty good quality sherry, and you can't use cream sherry. Cream sherry is just too sweet. One, two, two. A little bit extra just because. And now I'm just gonna toss this around. And the shrimp are still warm in the center. They're manageable but warm. So I'm gonna let them sit for just a minute. And I transferred all of my herb, garlicky herb butter to a little container here. Just so you could see that the liquidy part has floated to the top. And I'm gonna take about six tablespoons of the liquidy part off the top. And I'm adding this to the breadcrumbs. You don't want to add too much liquid. You just want to stir them in. You want the breadcrumbs to be just lightly flavored with that garlic flavor, but you still want them to be uh, crumbly. Let's pick this up so the camera can see what I'm doing here. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more in there. So maybe seven tablespoons today. And this, my friends, is a cup and a half of very special breadcrumbs. These are French breadcrumbs, and they are made from French bread. They're not Italian-style breadcrumbs. They are Chicago-style breadcrumbs, and they sell them in Chicago. You can find them in some big supermarkets, and they're available online, but they are glorious. They are an amazing taste. Okay. So we've got our breadcrumbs all mixed. Now I'm going to take all the rest of this garlicky mixture. And I'm going to toss these with my shrimp. Oh, wow. If you were standing here right now, you would just want to pick 10 or 12 of these up and eat them right away. I'm going to rough measure this about a half a cup of these breadcrumbs are going to get stirred in to this shrimp mixture. And what this is going to do, I'm going to let this sit for a minute or so, and I'm going to keep tossing it maybe every 30, 40 seconds, and allow these breadcrumbs to soak up all of the butter, the garlic, and the sherry. I've placed six shallow ramekins on a large baking tray with a sheet of parchment paper underneath. If you don't have six shallow ramekins, feel free to make these in one 9 by 13 casserole. Single layer, it'll work perfectly. What I'm going to do is start arranging carefully because I want all my tails to face in the same direction. Six shrimp in each dish. And this is typically what you would find in an average shrimp cocktail if it were being served as a starter or an appetizer in a restaurant. And I'm just gonna continue putting these shrimp in here till they're all in the plates. All of my shrimp and ramekins, and then I scrape down my bowl with a big rubber spatula and all of the excess garlic and breadcrumb mixture that was in there, I've distributed that over the tops of all of the shrimp and the ramekins. Oh, they're so good. And now I am going to take the rest of these breadcrumbs. This is another reason why you've put them on a pan lined with parchment paper, because this is a little messy. I'm going to sprinkle all the rest of these buttery, and they are buttery. French breadcrumbs over the top of all of these ramekins. And if you're working in a casserole, just sprinkle them evenly over the top of your casserole. And don't stop till you're done. All of them. Because there's tons of butter and flavor in these breadcrumbs. Now, I'm off to wash my hands. Then I'm gonna pop this in a preheated 375 degree oven for five to six minutes just until the crumbs are golden and the butter is bubbly. Eat, 
drink and be merry, my friends. Be nice to each other, too. It matters. From Melanie's Kitchen and WHVL TV, too, happy holidays. For these and all of my recipes, just go to my website. My, oh my, did that not look delicious and taste delicious as well. That was phenomenal. She's quite a wonderful chef. Yes, we are not cooking live here out on Allen Street. That is recorded <laughs> during the week. Mayor, we talked about what's going on in State College. Obviously, wonderful events around the holiday season, but also entire Center County oh, yes. and even beyond down to Blair County, Altoona. Yes. You're excited to get out of town as well, aren't you? I love to travel through the whole region. It's a wonderful time of year to be here. Well, we're going to do that when we come back. We're going to take a trip to see some lights on a lake. Oh, boy. <laughs>